Hey guys, it's Brandon here. I am with my absolute best new friend, Nate Barger, who is the hotel kingpin of the world. And he wants to show me this deal. He wants to break down all the numbers, all the gory information on this hotel deal. We'll see how much, how much he spent on it, how much he's spending on renovations. How much money does he have out of pocket on this deal? How much is he going to make? How do you structure a deal like this? And most importantly, the process, all of the gore and none of the fluff with tearing these rooms out, tearing these rooms up, fixing the problems and making money in actual work because for some investors it's too hard to do but he gets down and dirty dealing with all of the problems we've already talked about there's been theft someone broke into a room stole tools this is going to be an absolutely wild ride make sure you like this video and subscribe if you already haven't because i know for a fact you're going to enjoy this video Nice he, he's taking care of the renovation. Okay. How long you been living up here? Four months, not five months. Four months, yeah. He, he ain't very good or he would have been done. Yeah. No. <laughs> awesome. We ran it. Hold on, man. I got some stuff for you, man. I know, man. Here. I don't know. I don't know if you smoke cigars. No. That's, that's okay if you don't. You can give I'm, them away. Believe me, I'm not going to turn anything down at this point. Wow. Yeah, here you go, brother. See how ugly it was before? You see the side of the building here where yeah. these windows are? We got to tear off the um, the top parapet. That's going to be flat up there. And this is going to have a Nikamichi system on the side and a courtyard Marriott up top. Very cool. It's going to look good. Yeah, yeah. I, I saw the, the renderings in yeah, there. Yeah, it's going to look, look good when it's done. Look amazing. It'll look amazing. Yeah. So these are the new colors for 10 years. We got a new sign coming out here too at the highway. See that one there? Yeah. But that's how you make money on these old hotels. And you know, you always hear people talk about you're over leveraged. Yeah. Because we have no money in this deal, yeah. right? Now these guys here built that at a cost of 130,000 a room. That's a Holiday Inn. Okay. We're all in on this for 86,000 a room. That's Would you rather own a Marriott at 86,000 a room and have 100% financing or have that at 75% financing at 130? And you're not doing personal guarantees on anything, are you? This, we got limited guarantees. Anytime limited guarantees. you go through the construction process, okay. yeah, and so what they'll do is they'll say, you have to guarantee, so they do 75%, okay, right? And then you got to guarantee 25%. Okay. So the bank's on the hook for 50, so the thing would have to be like, just cut in half in value for them to lose anything. Yeah. But the, way, the reason you do the limited guarantees is because you can only buy as much real estate as your net worth. Yeah. So and then you have to go find more sponsors, so buy, only signing for 25%, we're not putting all that yeah. debt against our personal name. Yeah, that's we're great. able to buy more real estate. That's awesome. All right, guys, we had a uh, we had a break in last night. So uh, Keith, you want to tell us what happened, man? Just been found no in a room that we broke into. That was in room 320. Here you go, man. They got a couple torches. Here, you need a help? You home? Here you go, bro. I got you. No, they, they got a couple <laughs> torches. Uh, skill saw and a bag of tools, which are drills and uh, oh, gosh. saws and things. Trying to find out now how they got in there, who got in there, why oh, they got that in sucks. there. sucks. So they either had a master key, they broke in, they came in a patio, but more than likely, it's, it's somebody out here just homeless running around. Now, nah, Brandon, hey man, so the, I'll, I'll show you kind of how the numbers work, man. Okay. It's the same, but the, the one over here, so we're trying to get in these deals Take with little to mo no money down. It. That's how you really get wealthy, yeah. right? And so over there, we're looking at doing pay <clears throat> which is uh, the green initiative energy stuff. Mm -hmm. And by doing that, we may be able to get a lot of money, you know, $6 million, what we're doing, generation uh, system over there to power the whole thing. Okay. So we get rid of the power bill, okay. we get pace to pay for that, we, we run a cost of the debt okay. on that equipment versus the cost of paying uh, the um, energy yeah. and, and figure out where that's at. Yeah, I know we talked about your million dollar toilet deal. Yeah, yeah. Which I'd love to do a video on that, but that sounds kind of kind of like a, just a larger version of that. I can you. do one on this hotel here, actually, if you want. This, all baby, right, this is this money is right here. This is what I want to see. This money. Now, hey, so we got all new flooring in here, all new vinyl wall coverings, and these corner beads. This here, we built. These we had built down here in Atlanta. They got a fab shop uh, okay. company we work with and, and he works with. He got their own fabrication shop. We brought in all this stone from overseas to save money. Oh, very cool. Fabricated it all down there, shipped it up on one truck. This was all on one truck, right? Cool. And it's 145 of these. Oh my goodness. And 145 of these. No, it's more than 145 because in, in the suites we got some too. And then the lights, you'll see that in the other one. These they let us keep in paint right here. The showers here. Listen, brother, we had to tear up all of these out, man. Oh my goodness. Yes, after we were done, because the city, it screwed it up, brother. 
Like you talking about costing us a lot of money, man. Oh. You know, it costs. That's why I don't like the. I mean, is this the city of Worthington on your inspections nope. or the Columbus. city of Columbus? I said 14 years ago I'd never do business in the city of Columbus. Yeah, yeah. I was I was remodeling a house and we had to tarp the roof and they said that I needed a permit to tarp the roof. <laughs> Wow. I got fined 450 bucks. That's ridiculous. So I said I will never do business in the city. Of That's ridiculous, so, man. That's maybe I'll have to do business in Columbus one day, but Yep, so have new to... floors, shower pans, these were bathrooms before. This was a tub, right? Rip the tubs out, put this in. These are all solid one piece here. Okay. You pop these right in here. Pop, pop, pop. Drill out a nice clean hole here. Is that new... like FRP or uh, is no, it That's actually a marble fiberglass mix. It's a marble. Okay, wow. It's going to look amazing. You'll see the finished product upstairs. I would like to see a before, though, what this thing looked like. And then Brandon, they wanted $420,000 for furniture. We had it fabricated ourselves over in China for 200. Oh, wow. So you found a company that did do all your fabrication directly in China. Anywhere where we can vertically integrate and save money, we're doing it. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, but, but look at this ugly. Uh, they said we could keep this. I was like, man, we don't want to keep that. We don't want to keep this ugly bed and this. Look at this here, man. See, this is this is the problem. Like with talking with, with someone like him, all this stuff looks fine to me because it's like, oh, this is way nicer than I had growing up. I know, I know. But look, look, look. Here's here's the deal, right? Say it cost me two hundred and twenty-four, two hundred and thirty. So let's say we're gonna get five, five extra per night because of the upgraded furniture. Yep, times one hundred forty-five rooms times seven twenty-three hundred sixty-five days a year. And let's say we're running a 68% occupancy. 68% occupancy, wow, that's more than I would have thought. So we're not wow. there yet, but we will be. After well, yeah, after, after we'll the We'll probably renovation. be in the 70s because really? we got this new project coming in. But look at this, 179.945. Wow. Yeah, right. Now watch this, divide that by an eight cap. That furniture yeah, it's just gonna made, be two look at that. $2 million. <laughs> See that, that's how you make money, baby. We made $2 million putting in million new case goods. I'm yeah. lazy. Yeah. I don't like to work hard. I like to work smart. We've only, right? we've only done the top floor of this floor. We're still waiting on exterior permits. Okay, wow. Well. It's been, you know, it's hard getting permits yeah. here. It's crazy. Yeah. No, nowhere I've ever dealt with takes this well, long to get permits. Hey, guys, so we had someone to break in this floor yeah. yesterday. Yeah. I can we that. pull the card reader? You're going to pull that and see if we had anybody come in? Can, yeah, you, can you look at that and let us know the culprit? Sure. And then do, can we pull cameras and stairwells and see yes. people carrying out bags of tools? Let's show them some of the challenges Let's along the way. This. See this wall here we had to bump out here? So we had to bump this out because of... Running the electric from the top to the bottom. We got Predom here. Predom, we're just gonna go through and see if we can find who stole it, who broke in. So Probably right. Who's in charge of 16 cameras? Like, who's, whose idea is it to only have 16 cameras running in a hotel like this? Uh, sometimes you don't have any. I but and this is what we got right now. When we go through the renovation, we'll put more in. But you got them in all the stairways. You got them outside. Because, Nate, what's the total the square feet in this whole place? About 60,000 square feet. 60,000 square feet. Wow, nice. So we got... Is there any way to climb up here? I mean... They could climb up them gutters, man. Yeah. Uh, I guess it's possible, but... Yeah, it didn't. I'm, I'm just kidding. Yeah. I'm guessing that they left the, you know... If I had to take a guess, the door was unlocked and they just got access to this floor, started looking at rooms and probably. whatever was the easiest one. Well, let's, let's pull it and see. I, I, I think you're probably right. <laughs> Voila, look at that. <laughs> Brand new hotel. Oh, you smell it that? It smells new, too. It smells like good, money, baby. It's a good this smell. Way. This is the finished floor here. Wow, this is nice. Yeah, we got new doors coming. So when you buy these hotels, it's not up to you what you want to do. Yeah, there's a the lot brand of brand tells requirements. You what, yeah, it's yeah. called PIP, Property Improvement Program. So this is a room that we can occupy that we've rented and we're renting. Okay. So. so we do have the new couch. Right? Yeah, but just saying. Look at this though, man. It just, yeah. This that is going to get... Mounted on the wall. This gets mounted on the wall. Hmm. This is the mini fridge here. So, Marriott is the one that kind of decides on your furniture. Yeah, everything. Mar Mar so, so, they have a brand standard, but you have some freedom inside the brand standard to go and shop around and get something identical. You can get it made. Identical. Spec. Okay. You can get it made. You take the spec to China okay. and have it made. Okay. So whoever provided that furniture to Marriott's making a ton of money with less intelligent operators getting yes, that $1,500 absolutely, plus. Absolutely. More than $1,500 per set because it's Absolutely, it's brother. And we'll go into that's why we're vertically integrated. Yeah, that's awesome. That's how we Man, crush that's it. that's so cool. Instead of spending eight, spending five to renovate. That's crazy. You're cutting your cost. Yeah, that's awesome. You know, 40%. Yeah, even when you run into a problem and it costs you 50, 60, 80, it's like yeah. you're getting it done $4 million cheaper. 
Like right. Still. Yeah. Wish I could put vinyl <laughs> walls in all my cheaper rentals. <laughs> so my tenants. Oh God, I got I, I got plaster or what do you call it, Venetian plaster in my house, and my daughter, man, she's running around on her suitcase, flying through the house, and she ran in, she put a hole in my plaster. I don't even know yeah. how to fix it now. Yeah. Tenants and children. I need to, to tenant proof and child proof. Mm -hmm. You want to go up on the roof and look at the roof? Sure. We did. This is a big huh? roof. We did it in nine days. This is cool. I can only imagine the difficulties of doing, you said it was 350 square? Yep. That's an incredible amount of roof. We've had them up here for six, five, what, four months? We gotta get that stuff out of them, man, because, uh, you know, like I said, the city just really screwed us up. Like you, uh, that, could, that could bankrupt a normal investor. Yeah. Because not only did we lose, I mean, 100,000 in probably cost, probably 60,000 in revenue. 60, revenue, we lost money in revenue. Yeah. Because we couldn't rent the rooms you're, you're out. Get, you're getting hit from every side. You've yeah, got, we got 34 rooms down that we can't rent. You've got regular, you've got regular expenses. You've got yep. um, employee pay, labor costs. Yep. You've got debt service costs. You've got loss of revenue. Yep. And the government's sitting there. Yep. And they don't have any skin in the game whatsoever they don't because they're they in just a say, oh well, them people are rich. They can pay for it. Yeah. They like no idea how and, investors struggle. So for those of you that want to be entrepreneurs and you're tired of working 40, 50 hours a week for somebody, be prepared to make less money your first year yep. and work 80, 90 hour weeks. Yes. And life that's the reality. Life rewards people who make sacrifices. And you yep. have to do the uncommon things to achieve things that are uncommon that's as well, right. which means some 16, 18 hour days. It'd be cool to get up here with a skateboard. With a, a skateboard? Skateboard, yeah. man. Well, we could probably get them inside there. This is much less risky than I've done in my trailer park. Yeah, well, I haven't had to pull a gun on anybody yet. Oh, yeah. What do you typically get on your equity when you find the deal? We take 50% of the deal. Oh, gosh, that's awesome. 50 to 80, depending oh, on the deal. Goodness. Sometimes see, 100, see, and we just give debt. You just give debt, okay. See, this is, this is a different world because I've got a friend up in Michigan, and I, I love the guy to death, and he told me that if I was to syndicate a deal as the GP, I can only get manager's equity of the deal, which he said would be about 10 to 15%. And for me, if I'm spending all my hard work and time, and I'm coming up with a deal that's going to make millions and millions and millions of dollars, because I find those deals. Like, why shouldn't I get more than 15%? And that's so, why I haven't gone down that pathway. What you do is you back into the number. Investors want to 2x their money over five years, right? Okay. So you figure out what it takes to 2x their money, money. and then you keep the rest. Okay. Now, a typical syndicator is going to give away 80% of the deal. The reason why is because they got to 2x the investor's money. Mm -hmm. Their deals suck, quite honestly. Yeah. So if your deal sucks, you got to give 80% of them away yeah. to hit that 2x, which is 12 to 15% a year. If you have a good deal, because that's compounded. Some of yeah. that's going to be cash flow, yeah. some of it's principal Pre reduction, yeah, and then the disposition yeah. of the asset. Yeah. So your internal rate of return is going to be about 15 to 20 yeah. percent. And that's going to 2x your money, give you a 2.1, 2.2 equity yeah. multiple year five. Let's see. I, I think that, that my failure there is not trusting my contractor process and my process for renovations so that when the, the people giving you money, they essentially want 15 to 18 percent rate of return. My worries in the back of my head is what am I going to do if the contractors start screwing everything up and we end up with, we have a three mm -hmm. month delay. Like I guess it's probably my own concerns and my own frustrations with no, the contractors. No, that's great because here, you've identified the problem. Now you just need to find a solution. Yeah, Brandon, here's what they look like before. You see? Okay. Yeah, okay, this, so I've been in this style before. Yeah, look at this old tile here. Yeah. I mean, yeah. that's bad, that's bad. I've got dude. that in my rentals. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. got a couple of rentals. Yeah, you see the difference, man. Would you yeah, pay it's extra incredible. Ten bucks Absolutely a night here. Incredible. Would you pay extra five or ten bucks? Oh yeah, I know you probably wouldn't, but well, I get hey, yeah. Five hey, or ten hey brother, I need to look at this problem with you. We takes about three weeks to do one of these floors. Okay. To do it's that's 30, incredible to me. 35, 36 rooms on it. That's incredible. And that's everything out, all new vinyl, strip all the vinyl, all the floors, new lighting, uh, running the electric up through the wall all the inspections, gutting these showers. Then all these here, we donate all these and oh. get a tax write-off. Well, that's nice. So look, we already got to depreciate them. We get a tax write-off and then the new ones we get to, we get the expense too. So we are having a plumbing issue. Look, when you're dealing with this type of stuff, corporate doesn't know what to do. The reason I love these Gen 1 courtyards, they all have balconies, man. Yeah, and I absolutely cool. love balconies. So Brandon, what do you think, man? You this, want to see the numbers on this? Oh yeah, I like numbers. Here, I'll break them down for you real quick. I like numbers. So before we bought this thing, it was doing 109 a night, 109 times 145 rooms, times 365 days, times 62 
62 uh, occupancy. Yep, 3.576. 3 plus, million. it was doing another about 350 in uh, food and beverage, oh, wow. and another uh, 150 in other. So it was doing about 4.1 million, 4 .1. right? 500,000 in other. So about 4.1 million okay. are all in cost 12.1. 12 million. 12 million. Right, and then so now with our new projected numbers, we're at 122 times 145 rooms, we didn't go down, okay. times 365, times 0. 0.68 Insane is on where your we, occupancy. Yep, and times 0. 0.32, yep. Yeah. And divide that by a point. But that, does, that also doesn't include any of your ancil ancillary income through. Yeah, we got another five hundred grand on top of yeah. there. So it's probably twenty two million dollar so, hotel. Yeah. We have that much revenue coming in and I can get four and a half, five percent debt. Mm -hmm. My cash flow is insane. Oh yeah. Because I'm getting because I've created all that out of thin air. I only got debt on twelve million. That main thing is that drain problem. Let's look at the drain. Let me show you that. Okay. We have a big issue. If you spend that five million dollars, if you do not fix this problem, it's no matter. So I need to spend five point. Let's see. You can fix that, Nick. Yeah. Let me see. Yeah. Let me see. We fixing that problem that's in the main line. What's in the main line? It's leaking up here. What is it? The main line. It's the water. The waters. Okay. Well, I mean, we can fix this, but we're gonna have to shut the whole building down and drain it, bro. It's gonna be a pain in the butt. So we just got done at this hotel. There's so much cool stuff going on here. We went over the numbers of this deal. They're insane. How much money Nate's making on this deal? On top of that, you know, this money doesn't come easy. This money doesn't come without work. So we've looked at busted uh, water line that's in the process of busting. He's, Nate's got to make a decision on how he's going to address that. If he doesn't do it right, they're going to lose all 145 rooms, have to shut down all the water on them. It's going to be a disaster. We also looked at the renovations that he's going on, where he's actually making his money. The vertical integration, ordering freaking furniture from China. Guys, make sure you like the video if you like this content. Make sure that you consider subscribing and hitting the bell to enable notifications. Thanks.